My country is being tested by this hailstorm called Super Typhoon Haiyan. We remain uncertain as to the full extent of the damage and devastation as information trickles in agonizingly slow manner because power lines and communication lines have been cut off and may take a while before they are restored. The initial assessment showed that Haiyan left a wake of massive destruction that is unprecedented, unthinkable, and horrific. And the devastation is staggering. I struggle to find words even for the images that we see on the news coverage. And I struggle to find words to describe how I feel about the losses. Up to this hour, I agonize, waiting for word to the fate of my very own relatives. What gives me renewed strength and great relief is that my own brother has communicated to us and he had survived the, the onslaught. I speak for my delegation, but I, I speak, speak for the countless people who will no longer be able to speak for themselves after perishing from the storm. I speak also for those who have been orphaned by the storm. I speak for those who have the people now raising its time to save survivors and alleviate the suffering of the people affected. We can take drastic action now to ensure that we prevent a future where super typhoons become a way of life. Can we ever attain the ultimate objective of the convention, which is to prevent dangerous anthropogenic interference with the climate system? By failing to meet the objective of the convention, me, we may have ratified our own doom. We have to confront the issue of loss and damage. Loss and damage is a reality today across the world. We cannot solve climate change when we seek to spew more emissions. In solidarity with my countrymen who are struggling to find food back home and with my brother who has not had food for the last three days, with all due respect, Mr. President, and I mean no disrespect for your kind hospitality. I will now commence a voluntary fasting for the climate. This means I will voluntarily refrain from eating food during this COP until a meaningful outcome is in sight, until concrete pledges have been made to ensure mobilization of resources for the Green Climate Fund. We cannot afford a fourth COP with an empty GCF until the promise of the operationalization of a loss and damage mechanism has been fulfilled, until there is assurance on finance for adaptation, until we see real ambition on climate action in accordance with the principles we have so upheld. Mr. President, this process has been called a farce. It has been called an annual carbon-intensive gathering of useless frequent flyers. It has also been called saving tomorrow today. We can fix this. We can stop this madness. Thank you, Philippines, for your great speech. It's always hard to attribute a single weather event to climate change, but we know that the science is also clear that climate change will mean more intense typhoons, potentially. And uh, even if we cannot attribute Haiyan to climate change directly, my country refuses to accept a future where super typhoons will become a regular, regular fixture.